Welcome back to Texas Eats. We're with Charlotte, and she's gonna show us how to make cast iron cornbread. I'm super excited. Oh my God, it could be a meal. We have our cast iron skillet okay. heating, because we want to get our cast iron skillet hot, so that when we pour in our batter, it creates that Crust. Crust. Yeah. I've already measured out your ingredients. Okay. We have a little bit of flour with some um, baking powder in that, and that's going to be our um, chemical leavener. So you can go ahead and add that to the bowl. Okay. The next thing we're going to add is going to be a corn flour. If you wanted to make this completely gluten free, you would just add um, all corn flour instead of um, AP flour. This is actually um, grits, corn grits oh, or okay. um, polenta. And again, it goes back to that texture. So I like a little bit of bite into my in my cornbread. And then to this, we're gonna add in, we're gonna add two eggs, um, about 10 tablespoons of butter, and then we're gonna use buttermilk. And buttermilk is key to this recipe because this is also gonna give us um, some flavor, but also more of that leavening, right? So add that in. Oh my goodness, this looks decadent. Right, it's so good. <laughs> and then we're gonna add a little bit of honey for sweetness, and we're also gonna add some roasted corn. And I went ahead and grilled this corn. That roasted corn is very, that's essential, right? Because yes. that really brings out a lot yes. of those sugars. Right? Look at you, chef. I know some things, so, yeah, I know some do. things. And while you're doing that, I am going to get our hot skillet. You really don't want to mix it that much? Is that a what it is? A spoon or a spatula is okay. perfect for that. Okay. It keeps you from over whisking or mixing, and it's um, Ooh, that is hot. It's really hot. Look at that. Then we're going to add, I'm going to add a little bit of butter to this. Yeah, you are. Look at that. Oh, it's ready to go. See how hot that is? There's something special about butter in a hot pan, oh isn't it? Oh my god, the smell. Oh, hey, well, it's can talking we do to it, us. Can we do it in slow mo? <laughs> Gotta get all the goods out of there. You can see it, look how it's making that beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's talking to us. It it's is, saying it's something. Beautiful. It's saying that it's gonna be eaten later. Eat this me, is great. Eat me. All right, I'm gonna put this back in the oven. And I do about 22 minutes, 25 minutes. Um, and then what I do is I shut my oven off. Okay. And I just let it sit in there for a little while and cool a little bit in the oven. And then that crust develops. And then you could like brush a little bit of honey on top if you want. You could do all sorts of fun stuff. When you're talking about kicking off rodeo, doing it the right way, you gotta do some cast iron cornbread. That's the way you do it. Yes. Steaks are cooked perfectly, they're rested, you slice them up ready to go, and Charlotte, you have the cast iron cornbread right out the oven, got the butter on top, ready to rot. You guys, yeah, everything's ready. To get these recipes, of course, head on over to kstat.com slash Texas Eats. We have it all right there for you. And now, it's time to try it. Oh, thank you.